Yeah, welcome to second class. Uh, in this class, we are going to solve two problems based on homogeneous differential equations. Uh, you already discussed in the previous class. In the previous class, I told very clearly, whenever q of x equal to zero, that uh, linear higher order derivative equations becomes homogeneous. It's a homogeneous equation. Now, first try to find out CF. CF of the equation itself is a general solution of the given differential equation. Why? Because q of x is zero, the contribution of pi also must be zero. Okay. Now, the first step is how to proceed. We already discussed, I explained so many times in the previous video. First, we have to express the given differential equation in terms of what actually, uh, in terms of differential operator. What is differential operator denotes? D is nothing but derivative to capital D is nothing but derivative to with respect to independent variable. What's the independent variable here? X. Therefore, this is often also written as d power of 4y plus 8dy square plus 16y equal to 0. Yeah. This is the first step. First step is I to express the given differential equation in terms of differential operator. In the next step, what is that? I to keep uh, y in the right side of the differential equation which must be equal to 0. This is the second step. What's my next step is actually now this is this is entire thing is nothing but f of d. Now I have to write auxiliary equation by replacing d by m in f of d and then equal to 0. Therefore what is the next step is auxiliary equation is what? Auxiliary equation is nothing but m to the power of 4 plus 48 d square plus 16 equal to 0. In the next step, is a polynomial of degree, is a polynomial, this equation is nothing but polynomial of degree 4. Yeah, yeah you know the formula how to factorize, how to find out quadratic formula from the quadratic formula, what are the roots. Whenever I have higher uh, uh, polynomial degree more than 2, then I have to make it that uh, polynomial in terms of degree 2. If I observe this m to the power of 4, there are two methods to proceed for this step. Either you go for uh, uh, synthetic division method or you have to do it directly. I have to try for whether it's possible, I have to simplify directly. m to the power of 4 can also be written as m square whole square. 48 uh, can also be uh, written as, you already know that, uh, a, 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 the, what about that uh, 2 into, this is uh, actually uh, d, 8 m square. This is not 48, I written a wrong here. Yeah, I think uh, this is 8, just a minute. This is 8, yeah. This is not 48. While writing here, I did mistake. Observe here, uh, plus 8 square. 8 d square. See, now this um, a square plus 2 a b. 2 into a, uh, a is nothing but, uh, uh, this is actually m square only, yeah. Yeah, just a minute. m square plus 16, okay. And try for whether it's possible I take express in the form of quadratic. a square plus 2ab, 2 into 4 into a. a is nothing but actually m square, 2a square, this is b. What is b is 6, 4, 4 is nothing but 16 square, 16, 16 is nothing but 4 square. Therefore, easily this can also be written as m square plus 4 whole square. No, no, not necessary to apply which one synthetic <coughs> division method. Please observe carefully here. 
First, you try whether it's possible to simplify without using synthetic division. You do it. Suppose it's not pos possible, uh, there is no alternative. Go for synthetic division method. Apply this synthetic division method until reach the polynomial degree two, because you know how to proceed. Suppose the polynomial degree two. Now this is just the k square plus 2ab plus b square. A square plus all terms are positive. Therefore, what's the possibility? A plus b four square. 2a square remaining 4 twos are 8. Remaining as b. Yeah, already is there 16. Therefore, this implies m square plus 4 is equal to 0. And also m square plus 4 is equal to 0. Five. Totally how many roots are expecting here? 4 because it's a polynomial degree 4. Therefore, what is m? Is m square is equal to minus 4. That implies m is equal to plus or uh, minus uh, root of minus 4. Root of minus 4 is nothing but 2i. Because root of minus 4 can be written as my 4 into minus 1. What is minus 1? i. 2i. Okay. This also implies what actually? m is equal to plus or uh, minus 2i. Plus 2i minus 2i plus i 2i minus 2i. Here totally we get four roots. All four, four. But here we get two pairs of complex roots. Both the roots are repeated. Then this is nothing but what is the general uh, formula for a pair of complex root is plus r minus i beta. Here you have plus r minus 2i. Therefore, what is my alpha is 0. But is one pair. We get uh, pair, two pairs of complex root, both, both the roots are same, means repeated complex roots you have. Therefore, what is my uh, CF is complementary function is nothing but e power of 0 into x. Why I am going to take x? Because the given differential equation having uh, what's the independent variable is x. Therefore, I told number of times while writing complementary function, we have to use independent variable into x into c1 plus c2 because repeated twice x, x is an independent variable, cos 2x plus, uh, plus c3 plus c4x into sin 2x. Beta is what actually? 2. Yeah. Suppose you simplify further, what we get c1 plus c2x into cos of 2x plus c3 plus c4x into sin 2x. This is the complementary function. But here p is 0 because yeah, since q of x is equal to 0, implies I told number of times p i we get from q of x. Therefore, what is my general solution? Y is equal to complementary function itself is my general solution. What is my general solution? Uh, C1 plus C2 x into cos 2x plus or C3 plus C4 x into sin 2x. This is the required. Why I am telling that this is a general solution? Because they are not given any boundary conditions. They are not given any initial or boundary conditions. Therefore, this is nothing but what they are given the problem is nothing but actually once you solve that, we get a general solution. Because they are not given any restriction, not given any constraint. which means not given any boundary conditions. Therefore, now, this is a, a solution of the given problem. This is a way I have to solve homogeneous differential equation. This is a way I have to find out complementary function for the given differential equation. Okay. Now, move to the next problem. Second problem. Uh, we already return at the beginning, solve the following differential equations, not necessary to write in every problem solved. Just I'm going to write the problem on the board. 4 into d square y by dx square plus dy by dx 
equal to 0. Okay, fine. Now, the first chart, as usual, first chart express in the form of differential operator. Where, what is capital D? Denotes the derivative with respect to x is nothing but 4dq by plus 4d square by plus uh, dy equal to 0. That implies first try to write uh, the first try to express in terms of the differential operator. What's the next step? I have to express this differential operator in terms of uh, what actually polynomial 4d square plus d into y equal to 0. This is nothing but what is that actually f of d. How to write the auxiliary equation? Replace a d by m and then equal to 0 means 4m cube plus 4m square plus m equal to 0. Now even though is a cubic polynomial, is a cubic polynomial. But how many roots are expecting? Three roots. Even though it's a cubic polynomial, not necessary to go for synthetic division method because it's a, what's a common factor? M is a common factor. M means to m into 2m square plus 4 4m square plus 4m plus 1 equal to 0. That implies m equal to 0. Another equal automatically is reduced to polynomial degree to 4m square plus 4m plus 1 equal to 0. That implies this is just like uh, 2m square, 2m whole square, yeah. Uh, a square is nothing but 2m whole square plus 2ab. All the terms are possible, po positive. Now I'm trying for whether it's possible a plus b whole square. a square, 2m whole square is a. This is my a, okay. And then 2 into 2m. This is already a. What's the remaining one? Add and subtract by not necessary is already one is that. This is just like what? 2m plus 1 whole square. a square plus uh, 2ab plus b square is nothing but a plus b whole square. Please try to understand. You must be know the basic concept then easy to do the simplification. What I did is even though it's a cubic polynomial, first I'm, uh, I'm not going to use uh, uh, synthetic division method because m is common factor. Once you take an m, it's automatically reduced to quadratic. Even though it's quadratic, I'm not going to do factorization. What I did, because this is whether it's possible, I tried to take a plus b whole square or a minus b whole square. The possibility is a plus b whole square because all terms are positive. Therefore, this is nothing but 2m whole square plus 2 into 2m plus 1. This is nothing but a plus b whole square. That implies we get there are two roots. What are the two roots? We get 2m plus 1 equal to 0 and then 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. That implies m is equal to minus half and also here also we get m is minus half. Observe totally we get how many roots? So three roots. But all three roots are real roots. But two roots are repeated. How many times are repeated? Two times are repeated. Zero, minus half, minus half, all are real, and real uh, roots. But two roots are repeated. Therefore, what is my complementary function? Complementary function is nothing but yeah, c1 into e power of m is 0. 0 into independent variable is x plus. This root is repeated two times. Therefore, c2 plus c3 of x because x is an independent variable involved in the given problem minus m, m2 or m3. This is m1. Yeah, this root is m1. This root is m2. This root is m3. Both are same, therefore we are written linear form into minus half into x. Therefore, what is my uh, general solution? General solution is y is equal to cf itself is a general solution. Why? Because pi is 0 since 2 of x is equal to 0. Therefore, what is the uh, c1 into e power of 0, 0 is 1. 
then what we get c2 plus c3 x into e power of minus half into x is the general solution. This is the way I to find out the general solution of the given differential equation. Means the given differential equation is a homogeneous. If we want, I'll show you the entire problem in one screenshot. So we have to first try to convert into differential operator. Next, try to replace d by m and then equal to 0. Automatically, we get a polynomial. You try to simplify, find out all the possible rules. And then you use the case a to b. Compare. Yeah, it must be belongs to any one of the form. Using that, and write the corresponding complementary function. That itself is a general solution of the given homogeneous differential equation. Move to the next problem. Third problem. Okay. Third problem is actually D cube minus 3d square plus 4 into y equal to 0. Here is not given in the form of derivative. They are already given in the form of differential operator and also they are not mentioned what is d stands for. So first is not mentioned in the problem d stands for you only assume that d is nothing but derivative with respect to x. Choice of view if you want to take with respect to x with respect to t other than y. Y is a dependent variable. Now, then uh, what's the given? They're given already in the simple form. Given d cube minus 3d square uh, plus 4 equal into y equal to 0. That implies what is my auxiliary equation? Auxiliary equation is, it's very easy. m cube minus uh, 3m square plus 4 equal to 0. It's a cubic polynomial. It's a cubic polynomial. You can't find out root directly can't do the factorize also. Therefore, first you have to convert this cubic polynomial in terms of what are the form. How to find out? Now I go for synthetic division method. If you want to go for synthetic division method, first you have to know one of the root by using inspection method. Keep in mind. If you want to go for synthetic division method, first you have to find out one of the root by using which, met which method by inspection method means by inspection means once you give the different values of m verify whether lh is equal to rhs that is called inspection method suppose now put m is equal to minus 1 what we get here this is minus on whole cube is minus 1 minus 3 minus 4 plus 4 is cancelled what we get minus 1 whole cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square plus 4 equal to 0 now you simplify this, what we get minus 1 minus 3 plus 4. Yeah, LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, M is equal to minus 1 is a one of the root by using inspection method. See, root means once you substitute the value in the left hand side, that must be equal to right hand side. What is the right hand side here? 0. That is nothing but one of the root of the uh, corresponding polynomial. Therefore, now I am going to take m is equal to minus 1, therefore m is equal to minus 1 is one of the, is one of the root, one of the root of the auxiliary equation, yeah. Now first try to find out one of this and then you write the Synthetic division method. This. Yeah. It's a cubic. Yeah, d cube. What is the d cube coefficient? 1. But d square is what? Minus 3. Which term is absent? D term is absent. That term is absent means 0 into d. This is 4. Okay. And then this is actually minus 1. Wow. This is minus 1 is nothing. But you already taken minus 1 is one of the root of the uh, polynomial. Therefore, once what you find out the by inspection method, you write it this, write it here. What is uh, the value of m is 
minus 1. You observe carefully, this way I have to do the synthetic division method. Yeah, first you write the quotient of the polynomial. Suppose any term is missing, you write the corresponding quotient is 0. What we already known that the value of the so one of the root by inspection method, write it here. Then you have to first step is 0. That's the way I have to start. 0 plus 1, 1. 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Now we get my add minus 4. Minus 4 into uh, minus 1. What we get? Plus 4. Add 4. 4 into minus 1, minus 4. Keep in mind, once you apply synthetic division method, always last value must be 0. You start from the what's I am going to repeat once again synthetic division. Please try to understand. Always start from 0. I to add with this value, we get 1. Then multiply it by this. What we get? 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Then I to add minus 4 into minus 1 is 4. 4 into minus 1 is minus 4. Now, automatically this value is 0. This is nothing but this value 0 means you are see Please try to understand it's a cubic polynomial. One of the root you have means once you extract that root, what's the remaining quadratic form? Because cubic polynomial, you know one of the root, say m is equal to minus 1. You take it one root. How many roots are remaining? Two roots. What's the equation are expecting? Quadratic equation. Therefore, this is nothing but quotient of m square, this is quotient of m, this is quotient of, this is nothing but constant term. Therefore, now we get actually m square, min, m square minus 4m plus 4 must be equal to 0. Okay. Please try to understand this. And then this is a quadratic. You know how to simplify. m square uh, minus 4m. 4m can also be written as, two. this is the m square. 4m can also be written as 2 into 2 into m a square minus 2ab, 2a, b is 4, 4 square, two, b is 2, what is 2 square is 4. This is just like what actually, a square minus 2ab plus b square is nothing but m minus 2 whole square. That implies, what, what are the roots you are expecting, m is equal to 2 and m is equal to 2. Because you know m minus 2 whole square is nothing but what, m minus 2, 2 equal to 0 m minus 2 must be equal to 0. Okay, fine. Now, finally, we get 3 roots. 1 is minus 1, 2, 2 are the 3 roots. Because it's a polynomial at degree 3, how many roots are expecting? 3 roots are expecting here. Now, before we move to the next step, I'm going to repeat synthetic division method. Yes, first, if you want to go for why I have to use synthetic division method, because it's a cubic polynomial, you can't find out the root. Keep in mind, it's possible to factorize only the case is polynomial of degree 2. Therefore, now, the first by using inspection method, I have to find out one of the root. How to find out by inspection method? Giving try and error the values. Once you substitute the value, that value must be equal to LHS is equal to RHS. Then we say that that's a one of the root. What we get the root, and then I have to take minus 1. And then now uh, you go for synthetic division method means it's a cubic polynomial. This is a quotient of d2, this is a quotient of d square, this quotient of d and uh, constant. Any term is missing means instead of that you put it 0. The first step is put first you write 0 in the first position because it's a cubic polynomial. You have to extract one root. What's the one root here? Minus 1. Uh, you are not expecting cubic polynomial. We had to subtract one, one degree means what's the degree, how many degrees are remaining? So polynomial degree 2. Therefore, you keep in mind we are doing the division by using one of the root. We are not expecting once again two big polynomial. We had to reduce one degree means quadrat polynomial degree 2. Therefore, that's why you are putting 0, 1. Uh, I have 1 into minus 1 is minus 1. Add minus 4 into one, minus 1 is 4. Then you multiply, you are expecting 0. This is a quotient of d square, my d, and constant. And then you know how to simplify this. See, if you, possible, if you want to go for factorize, but it looks like it's possible to write m minus 2 whole square. a square minus 2ab plus b square. Totally, we get 3 roots. All 3 roots are real and distinct. 
not trivial and distinct all roots are real but two roots are repeated one root are repeated twice wo all roots are real but one of the root is repeated twice therefore what is my cf c1 into e power of minus x i taken x granted uh, it's not mention anything suppose you take an independent variable is t then you write it in terms of t c2 plus c3 into x e power of 2x therefore what is my general solution is y is equal to cf which is my general solution why because pi is 0 plus there is no contribution for q of x therefore c1 into e power of minus x c2 plus c3 x into e power of minus 2 e power of 2x yeah this is the we have to solve the problem now entire problem we are showing in a one screenshot only observe carefully in this problem i explain synthetic division method also i think is clear how to proceed is clear i have then now in the uh, next class i am going to take uh, some more one few more problems for homogeneous i am going to explain how to solve the problem by using uh, synthetic division i am taking one more one or two one more uh, problem based on synthetic division method and also i am going to take one more problem for suppose they given boundary conditions based on uh, solving that they providing boundary condition how to proceed that type of problem also i am going to solve uh, two more problems in the next class keep in mind how to apply synthetic division that's a very very important i'm going to take two more for synthetic division method and one problem for suppose they going to give a boundary condition okay until you take care and then please come back in the next class with the preparation for these three problems i think you have to, uh, just to, have to get idea how i to find solve homogeneous differential equation means right q of x must be equal to 0 cf itself is a general solution of the given differential equation thank you very much bye see you and take care